Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Friday, December 18th, the eve of my mother's 75th birthday. Oh, I suppose I shouldn't say that. Oh well, tomorrow's her birthday. We, I'm Bishop David uh, of the Diocese of Caledonia and I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Good evening! And we are on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, for which we are most grateful. Our worship this evening is found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 722. And as we come into a time of worship, I invite you to be still and know that you are surrounded by the grace and love of God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 91, found on page 448. Psalm 91, page 448. We shall say the psalm responsively by the whole verse. Whoso dwelleth under the defense of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I will trust. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter and from the noisome pestilence. He shall defend thee under his wings, and thou shalt be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. For the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yea, with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the God ungodly. Because thou hast said, The Lord is my refuge, and hast made the Most High thy habitation. There shall no evil happen unto thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee in their hands, that thou hurt not thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under thy feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, beginning in the 11th chapter, at the second verse. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered him, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare the way before you. Truly I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. For the days of John the Baptist until from for the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has suffered violence, and the violent have taken it by force. 
For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John came. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah who is to come. Let anyone with ears to listen hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our gospel, our service continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together, De te look to sante terminum. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, and from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to your heart, we pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Amen. We say together the Confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. And the collect for this Advent Ember Days. Almighty Lord and Everlasting Father, who wouldst have the kingdoms of the world become the kingdom of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Bestow thy blessing, we beseech thee, upon all who labor for peace and righteousness among the nations, that the day may be hastened when war shall be no more, and thou shalt take the nations for thine inheritance. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour didst rest in the sepulchre, and didst thereby sanctify the grave to be a bed of hope to thy people, make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, which were the cause of thy passion that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with thee, who livest and reigns with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions this evening for the people and places that are upon your heart. I invite you to share them in the comments box that we may all enter into prayer with you. We pray for those who are suffering from the coronavirus, for the nearly 700 new cases this day in this province alone, and for those many other cases in Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec. For those who are suffering in hospital, particularly in the ICU beds. For those who are recovering at home, for those whose recovery is taking much longer and is fraught with many complications, for those who are anxiously awaiting test results. We pray also for all others who are in the medical system and for those who are fearful to enter into it, that all may be kept safe from the virus as they receive treatments and recover fully uh, from other conditions. And of course, we pray for their family and friends that journey with them and for those who are uh, treating them, the doctors, the nurses, all those in the medical world. And we pray for the ongoing research and uh, implementation of the vaccine program um, here and, and around the world. We pray for those who lead us, those in the communities, the province, nationally and internationally. Praying for those who are are in hot spots in the world and are struggling not only with the virus but with all those other places for uh, uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Uganda, Nigeria, um, Kenya, for those other places on our hearts and minds uh, and for those who struggle and for those who really sincerely pursue justice and righteousness in all the nations. We pray, as we do on Fridays, for all who grieve, knowing there are many who have died from COVID and from other conditions, for the families that are left, the friends that are grieving, for those who are unable to gather as we're accustomed to, to mourn publicly, and for those who are 
struggling, especially as we prepare to enter into Christmas, with a sense of loss and the pain of empty chairs. So we pray for those families that God will bless them particularly at this time. We pray for all the many people who are struggling with a sense of loss this year. The loss of gathering and Christmas celebrations, the loss of liturgies and carols, the loss of, of the familiar as we venture into this unknown Christmas with the hope and the expectation that this is a one-off and that life will return to whatever normal is uh, within 2021. And so we end this year feeling yet another loss, yet another uh, separation, but with the hope of what is to come. And so we pray for those who are struggling at this time. Pray for those who are going to be alone, for those who won't be making it uh, for those special journeys, for those who be, who, whose anxieties, uh, fears, and losses have forced them to, into further isolation. So we pray for all who are struggling with a sense of loss this year and this day. We add your prayers as we offer our intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings this night for those who those things that you've seen the hand of God in and for those grace moments that you've experienced or witnessed in other people's lives. I am thankful that Dean enjoys vacuuming as the water was pouring through the doors faster than he could suck it up and, um, and uh, move it to uh, a better place for it. Uh, I am thankful that the rain slackened and uh, we were able to dash off and, and take care of some errands and for the safe travels to and fro. And I'm thankful to see friends and familiar faces and Terrace as I popped in there for a few moments today, especially uh, familiar faces in um, the wholesale club that didn't recognize me because of the mask. And um, so it was a lovely, uh, it was, I'm thankful for the opportunity to nip in, get a couple things done. And I have a treat that I'll be showing on Sunday, um, a, a very incredible um, uh, sk uh, sketch of the Madonna uh, as we get to that uh, the Merry Sunday, uh, the fourth Sunday of Advent. It is a, a, a spectacular print that was in the back of the archives, which I'm thankful for. Thankful we got in there, found it, and uh, for the incredible hands that uh, did some wonderful conservation work on it, and to have it back and uh, be having that up. And I'm thankful uh, for my mother as she gets ready to celebrate her 75th birthday tomorrow. So we pray. O merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men and women. We praise and magnify thy holy name. 
But above all, we thank Thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve you this night, indeed forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening and for being part of our holy hug on the way to bed. Pray that you have a most restful night and are able to join us tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Mountain with Pastor Don out of St. Mark's Dawson Creek for morning prayer. The Dean will be next door, uh, hopefully in a drier cathedral tomorrow at 1215 Pacific, 115 Mountain for midday prayers. And God willing, I'll be back tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. to lead us in another service of Compline. Until then, nighty night. <laughs>